Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning into this week's Stacker Chat. Stacks is smart contracts for Bitcoin, and I'm joined by Muni Bali, Stacks founder, with your regular updates. So it's been a minute since our last chat, a lot going on. I um, wanted to touch base and see what are your main focus areas, given markets have turned um, increasingly bearish, and what, if anything, has changed about sort of the potential unlocks for greater adoption of Stacks? Yeah, so I think in terms of the markets, uh, this is something that was pretty much expected, like, uh, especially if you've been in the industry for a while, this is probably like third cycle that I'm seeing for uh, the markets turning bearish versus bullish. And that's precisely why over the last six months or so, I spent a bunch of time for fundraising for trust machines and, you know, some of the other entities in the ecosystem have also close their funding rounds. That was, um, that was our way of actually preparing for the pair market. And uh, in like looking back, I think we actually timed it pretty well, right? Like this is uh, almost the best uh, uh, state that you want to be in is that you just raise capital, uh, you have all the dry powder, and now you can go out and hire people. Now you can actually go heads down and build uh, some of the the core things that you want to build and be ready for kind of like the next wave of interest that 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 typically kind of like comes with the bull market. So I think from from that perspective, uh, I think we're we we've done pretty well. And and now I think um, in terms of like some of the bigger unlocks, uh, obviously you know the faster speeds with hyperchains is uh, is one of them. And then um, uh, recently I tweeted about you know this uh, work around uh, trustless. Bitcoin peg in and peg out. I think that's going to be potentially one of the, of the biggest uh, unlocks, right? Like we haven't really seen that solution uh, out in the industry yet where people can just lock their BTC directly in a script and uh, use it on, on a separate layer and then bring it back, right? Like, so I think that that's going to be a potentially a pretty big unlock as well. And then I'm, I'm just interested in like kind of like more developers coming in. Obviously Trust Machine is building applications. So some of those applications are gonna start coming online. So I can't, can't wait to uh, use them. Yeah, definitely. And sort of on the topic of hiring, I think just given recent events, there's probably been some folks who entered crypto who have seen um, some pretty spectacular black swan events. What would be your advice to folks who have been building in some of those ecosystems sort of took their risks and are now sort of assessing what they want to do next? Yeah, I think, I think one of the one of the reasons why I um, kind of like build in the Bitcoin ecosystem personally is that in some ways it's the safest bet, right? Like, because if something bad happens to Bitcoin, there is no rest of the industry, right? Everything else kind of like goes down with it, right? So you can, you're not gonna regret that, oh, um, I was building on Bitcoin and uh, I should have been building on something else, right? Because it's, 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 it's a little bit like uh, if Bitcoin falls, there is no, not going to be anything else standing either, right? So it's, it's like the most, um, it's the least risky thing uh, to do to be able to kind of like building on Bitcoin, right? So that's 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 like my mental model, like how I think about it. Obviously, whenever you know there are the developers who are picking a platform, you are taking the platform risk, right? So recently we saw Terra kind of like completely implode, and and over there you were taking that platform risk that if the underlying uh, platform basically collapses, like anything you were doing on top is also going to go down to zero, right? So that's that that that's actually one of the big reasons why. Uh, you know, I personally like feel safe building on Bitcoin. We know that Bitcoin is going to be around for decades, right? And you can you can you can actually um, uh, feel a little bit more secure that way. Right. Thank you. Now you touched on it earlier, but I wanted to touch base on hyperchains. I've been sensing a ton of excitement in the community. Um, are there any updates, Alpha, you can drop on hyperchains that we can share? Yeah, so for Hyperchains, the uh, Hero, the dev tooling company in the ecosystem, that's kind of like taking the charge on it. Uh, people can follow updates on, on GitHub. Uh, my, my understanding is that uh, the testnet might be one to two months out. Uh, and I think that's already going to be a pretty exciting event because anyone who has built a Clarity contract 
uh, would just be able to deploy the same Clarity contract on the Hyperchain's testnet and basically start uh, kind of like testing out their applications and, and experiencing some of the speed and, and so on, right? And then, uh, you know, it, this is like not fully mapped out yet, but it's possible that there's some sort of a uh, closed mainnet launch, like in the sense that there might be some sort of a whitelist so that there are only a couple of applications that are being tested uh, live, so to speak, and then slowly, you know, it can it can open up to basically everybody, right? So, um, for 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 more details, I would highly recommend people to follow kind of like the the hyperchains development on GitHub. Yeah.